Right then, this is a walk around video, and this is for a beautiful looking Honda CRV. It's a 1.6 SR Tourer, finished in this gorgeous Milano red with a full black leather interior. The uh, car is in just exquisite condition. Uh, I do this in the shade because it's actually better for trying to pick up on any marks. It's not trying to hide anything, it's quite the opposite. Sunny days is a nightmare for doing videos. Um, front of the car, really clean. Bonnets, uh, so bumper and bonnet, very, very clean indeed. Lights and lenses, no cracks or condensation in those at all. Bonnets, again, just wonderful. It's, only, you know, it's obviously got a few minor stone chips which you're bound to get, uh, but there's not many. And then near side of the car, really, really clean in the flanks there. This side front alloy, absolutely uh, lovely condition, just the tiniest bit of marking at the right at the bottom of the wheel as it stands there, but next to nothing on a car this age of mileage. And the main panel looks absolutely beautiful. This side rear alloy, absolutely lovely. And then the back of the car, again, all very clean and tidy. Side of the car, driver side, and panel works just wonderfully smooth and clean. It really kind of seems to be appreciated. It's one of those, it's just got a really lovely sort of originality about it. Really good alloy in the back here, just one of the spokes there, got a little bit of marking on it, which hopefully you can see. And then panel work down the side, just absolutely superb, as I said. Finally, just to go front alloy. On there, absolutely lovely. Full set of Michelin tyres on this car, by the way. Should have pointed that out. Uh, but it really is a really handsome looking car. So coming into the boot area, which is of course enormous on the car. Uh, what it can't show you on this video, it looks absolutely as new back here. It's incredibly clean. Coming into the back of the vehicle, this is where any family estate is always at risk of being really heavily used by kids. And this one looks as though it's hardly ever been sat in in the back. It is in remarkable condition. So coming to the front now, front passenger door car, as with all the others, in lovely condition. Full set of original Honda mats in the car, again, all in excellent condition as well. And front passenger seat there, again, just shows hardly anywhere at all. So the front driver's door, the <laughs> front driver's door card, of course it's a front uh, driver's door card. Um, again, lovely condition, footwell areas, again, extremely clean. And the driver's seat, the one that takes all the wear, obviously. Um, naturally, it's going to have some sort of entry if you'll slide in and out, but it's actually held up really well for the age of mileage of this particular car. So inside the car now, engine's running, as always is the case with my videos while I do the interiors. Dashboard just looks brand new. If I just pop it up here, hopefully you can see. 58,174 miles currently recorded. Um, big screen sat nav on the car, all working exactly as it should. Pop the car into reverse there. Yeah, that lovely clear gridded parking camera again, all functioning exactly as intended. But it really is in absolutely beautiful condition in here. And my favourite part of any Civic is this wonderful view of the dashboard of the dashboard rather um, that's how you should set your driving position in one of these Civics by the way so the steering wheel's just at the top of the rev counter and below the speedo um, but it is I said not only is it in wonderful condition but just a still an astonishingly lovely dashboard finally just to show you owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key both here and present with the car right then this is a quick road test video and this is for a quite lovely car, a Honda Civic, and it's a 1.6 SR Tora, or estate in any other language. The um, reason we're doing these videos, very simply, is that we give an opportunity for people who are looking at this car in an advert online to actually see that very car in operation, which we feel is really important as a garage because you know, if there's any issues with the car, we feel it's right that people should be told about it prior to arriving. Um, we know to our cost how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look great in the description and photographs, only to find it's got a f fundamental fault when you get there, which, you know, would either have stopped you going or you would have made some sort of allowance for. Road tests also done on part of the road test route, any prospective buyer would go on, so 
point of that is hopefully then be representative of what you feel yourself should you be offered a test drive in the car. The car itself, it's been absolutely beautifully looked after in every single way, um, certainly mechanically. It's engine starts absolutely instantly as you'd expect from a Honda and settles are completely smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car and temperature gauge is running at a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle um, and the car's been running for well over two hours now. The engines are just simply brilliant diesel engines. It's smooth and quiet in operation, um, very Honda-like in that sense. It's got lovely power delivery, it's got tons and tons of go from you know, very, very low revs and pulls the very kind of linear fashion all the way through the rev band. Um, but what you know, obviously it's uh, ace trump or trump card rather is you know the what i refer to as the real world fuel economy you get out of these things because it is an extraordinarily economical car to drive um you know i've had numerous of these and i've actually got a hatchback civic that uses exactly this engine um you know i i, I don't get less than 65 to the gallon out of my one um i know you can get more and I know people can get less but it is you know it really does give an amazing economy if driven correctly of course engine then feeds through clutch into gearbox clutch in the car absolutely perfect white points exactly where it's meant to be and it's lovely and smooth in its actuation gearbox which has always always been a strong point of Honda cars and this one's no difference in that respect is a lovely thing to use it feels kind of hefty but light at the same time it feels really mechanical lovely synchro mesh as it engages um, and really positive and accurate in all the things it does springing between gears is absolutely just perfect it really is superb and I can feel zero wear in it steering on the car um, again can find no wear in it at all tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at all at this speed or any speed up to legal limit and it's a lovely power steering system giving you uh, a real nice weight to the steering uh, makes the car feel lovely and secure and solid on the road um, but it's also very precise and accurate and it works beautifully with the chassis of the car they absolutely complement each other perfectly um, the chassis again just a really class act honda um, with the last generation gave you a very dynamic car which this still is but this one has taken away kind of the, got the, the harsher edge off the chassis there uh, that the old one sort of occasionally exhibited um, being an SR model you're lucky enough you've got um, the adjust adjustable rear dampers on the car so basically button down here I'm currently in comfort mode it's only on the rear shock absorbers repress that one goes into dynamic and it firms them up you can feel it they're normal as kind of a halfway house and then comfort sort of softens it up completely um all working exactly as it should what i'm looking for in road test by the way is any signs of any sort of clonks or bangs coming from underneath the vehicle it shouldn't be there and there's absolutely nothing at all it will by the way be going off for an mot possibly later today so obviously all these things will be checked by an independent garage uh, doing the mot Just go around the corner, give the brakes a bit of a shove. I know they're good because I checked them earlier, but uh, absolutely fine. But it's a really nice, solid brake pedal on the car. What I want from brakes on the, the Civics is a good initial bite, which it's got, but also no vibrations or pulsing coming through the brake pedal, of which it's got nothing at all. It's all absolutely spot on. Coming to the interior, uh, as I said in the walk around video, um, which will be coming at some point I mean it's just an amazing condition in here it feels like I'm sat in a new car it's got everything just feels so fresh in the plastics and it's not been cleaned yet it's going to take about a minute to give this one a clean because it's just doesn't need touching really um, the dashboard I maintain and I know I'm biased uh, I just think it's the most interesting interior in its class by an absolute country mile um, but it's not at the expense of practicality because it is utterly, utterly practical. What it's doing through its wonderful design is imparting you with information very easily. Um, con the most conventional part, as I always say, is this centre stack here. Um, and that's 
got the quality of actuation of the switch gear is absolutely superb. Um, lovely kind of click click, well damped um, feel to all the controls. Sat nav, big screen sat nav on the SR model, all working perfectly. Air conditioning is absolutely ice cold. Um, so all working exactly as intended there as well. And it is dual zone, so you have different temperatures side to side. Also got heated seats with the leather interior with two settings on those. And then my favorite part, this wonderful two tier design, um, which basically the upper level gives you information like up there. If I press the fan switch, you can see the readout comes up there as well as down here. So you're not taking your eyes off the road um, if you want to take any of that information in. Uh, but my favorite part has always been the digital speedo there, which um, high up, it just basically means you can look at the road ahead, you know, anything that's going on, pedestrians or cyclists or otherwise, uh, but not take your eyes off the road for a, a millisecond. It's absolutely brilliant in operation. And it's to Honda's eternal shame that they've now taken off the very latest Civics, which I think is a really retrograde step. Uh, maybe because the dashboard kind of polarized opinion, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think that's a, a reason to change um, and this just works so so well. Down below that we've got a more conventional pod of three dials, um, big rev counter in the middle, flanked either side by the temperature and fuel gauges. Um, Multifunction steering wheel, lovely thick rim steering wheel, feels great in hand and feels absolutely as new um, and everything, every button I pressed, everything um, I wanted to work has worked exactly as it should as well. Wait here, see what this tractor's doing. I think he's, that's fine. Um, as I said at the start of the video, the point of it is literally just to show the car in operation. Um, and we've been selling Hondas for well over 20 years now. Um, so, you know, if there's something amiss, we do tend to know straight away when driving them. Uh, but you also do get cars which are a little bit special that just feel, you know, almost like they've come off a production line, and this is one of them. It just feels so, so tight and well looked after. It's been treated with kid gloves, it really has. Um, and whoever's lucky enough to get it next will be taking on a very fine car indeed, because I can find absolutely nothing wrong with the drive of this car. It drives beautifully. Uh, as always, any questions, do give us a call.